Good morning, everyone. I welcome you all in science class, students. Students, today we are going to start one more new topic of chapter number thirty. So the topic before I introduce, let me ask you one question. There are many things around ourselves. Some are metallic, some are plastic, some are wooden. So. can all the devices are made up of only metal or can all the devices that we are using and that using the electricity to work are made up of plastics can plastic pass the electricity can wood pass the electricity can paper pass the electricity and if i ask you can metal pass the electricity yes metals can pass the electricity that's why there are many devices made up of metal can uh, plastic pass the uh, electricity through it, its body no plastic do not pass the electricity through its body so what we call them what we call that object which pass the electricity through its body and what we call that objects that do not pass the electricity to, to its body so here in this lecture we are going to discuss about the names what we call them and we'll find out which device or which material pass the electricity through its body so here i have two name one uh, is conductor and other one is insulator right conductor and insulator so basically conductors are those which pass the electricity through its body conductors are those which pass the electricity through its body and insulators insulators are those which do not pass the electricity to uh, do not pass the electricity through its body right and around yourself you have different different kind of material so can you name them yes Uh, can you give me some example of conductors? I told you conductors are those which pass the electricity, right? So metals, metals are good conductor. In metals we have iron, we have aluminium, we have copper. Does water also pass the electricity or a human body? find out this water whenever you are like whenever you are uh, wet your mom always say do not touch the switch why why she always say like that because water can also pass the electricity so we can write water is also a conductor and now it's time to it's insulator time tell me some example of insulators plastic plastic is a insulator right wood rubber glass all these are the insulator now how we can find out which one like uh, i have some material and i need to find out whether it's insulator or a conductor so i have one short activity for you see guys i have make one switch i am um, i just join battery a uh, cell with two contact wires and i have a small bulb and i have this wire and this wire is made up of metal and it's a metallic wire right and i need to find whether it's a conductor or an insulator how will i find so as you know conductors are those which pass the electricity means if i join this wire this red wire with this wire if the bulb glow it means if the bulb glows it means it's this wire is a conductor because it passing the electricity so let's find it out uh it start glowing so it means it's a conductor but if i replace if uh, i have replaced this or if i join this plastic with this 
wire if i join this red wire with this wire now does the bulb glow no it, it's not glowing it means this plastic is a in this plastic is an insulator again i am joining this to confirm again it's start glowing so it means this plastic is a insulate is an insulator and this wire metallic wire is a conductor right i hope you have understood what are conductors and what are insulators so according to the uh, property that it conduct the electricity and it do not conduct the electricity there are some applications so let's discuss about the applications so uh, as we know all metals are conductors so they are used to make wires switch or many other appliances right rubber and plastic are used to make the cover of appliances or wire gloves gloves are also made of uh, made up of a rubber why so that if any electrician uh, need to operate something they he can wear the gloves so that it uh, like uh, so that it prevent it from the shock it prevent him from uh, any kind of shock right appliances and uh, handles of any device or any tool are always coated with the insulated material and in factories workers are provided with thick door mat so that they do not get any electric shock so we have also some uh, cautions or some precaution while whenever uh, whenever we are using uh, devices like we should not play with the sockets or electric switch when we are wet we should not use any uh, any device right we always uh, we always wear any slipper like uh, uh, any rubber slipper while we are operating any switch any uh, switch or any electric wire right so these are the precautions uh, we should keep it mind while we are doing any electrical work so i hope you have understood all the concept which we have discussed so far thank you and have a nice day ahead